Hey guys, what is going on? Absolute Gaming here with uh, some Battlefield Hardline gameplay on Conquest on the map Dust Bowl. Um, I'm just gonna give you a quick, like, me telling you guys how I'm enjoying the game, uh, what I've been doing so far, and um, our next few goals, you know. Uh, we always gotta have them goals going up somewhere. And um, first, I'm gonna start off uh, about how uh, how much I like this game because this game is probably one of the best games I've played in a long time because Call of Duty has been dropping and uh, Battlefield 4 was not all that great it was still playable to me it was still fun but it wasn't it wasn't Battlefield 3 Battlefield 3 was probably one of my favorite battlefields and uh, Battlefield 4 kind of dropped it off kind of like in Call of Duty with uh, MW3 is basically what dropped it off for me. I didn't like MW3, and then Ghost was terrible. I am looking forward to um, Treyarch's game, whatever they're gonna release. I know it's gonna be good because you know uh, it's Treyarch. Uh, and uh, Battlefield Hardline has one of the best stories. I don't play campaign a lot, but when I don't have internet, you know. It's just kind of something else to do. And, you know, I come around this corner and get that triple nipple. Let's go. And, yeah, you know, um, uh, back to what I was saying is uh, Battlefield Hardline, the campaign is absolutely amazing. And, you know, it just leaves you with the big freaking cutoff or whatever it's called at the end. And like what I thought was gonna happen at the end is you're gonna have two options, you know. Um, I could either choose to do what he did, or like not do that. And then like whatever one you choose would like take you to an open world, like you know, place and like be single player, open world, police or criminal, you know. I think that would have been actually really really cool because you know like if people don't have internet what are they gonna do they're just gonna t uh, keep doing the campaigns over over again you know like ca the campaign is good you know you could get all the like evidence and stuff but uh, I think people would want an open world scene because you know if you're a cop you know and the campaign didn't do much as a cop and as a criminal, the only thing you really did was go after uh, the Dawes guy, and you didn't really get to do much other than that. And you were still basically a cop when you were the criminal. I would have had that triple right there, man, if, if they just weren't so far away. If they just weren't so far away. But um, the gun I am using is obviously the ACWR. I have... I When I first started... Um, I had a battle pack which gave me this gun since the very beginning of me playing online and this gun is to me one of the most overpowered guns in the game but I love it and you know it has like no recoil or if, if, you, if it does you can control it good enough to where like you can make it shoot basically anyone you want from any range I mean I'll probably of course not across the map because you know it's not a sniper <clears throat> and the bullet drop is pretty different from uh, Battlefield 4 like I, I was disappointed that Battlefield Hardline was not gonna have any rangefinder for the sniper class at all like it basically leaves the people who snipe long range not be able to do as much they can walk around in the middle and then like try to snipe people but it's obviously not gonna work as easy as those who did play from a longer range you know uh, but other than that um, I'm, I'm really enjoying this game you know I wish there was a rangefinder on the sniper class but you know what uh, I can live with it I can live without it I mean you know Snipers got to adapt to their surroundings, you know, and I, I have been doing some 
pretty good sniping. It's not really long range, but look at this. Look at this. I killed him from, with like no problem from across this courtyard. And that's how accurate this gun is. It's it's just crazy how good this gun is. And like I haven't really played much of the other classes because I um I got this gun when I first started. So I was just like, dude, this is one of my favorite guns in like Battlefield history. Why am I going to try to use other classes and just kind of kill myself, you know? Because this gun, from the very start, has killed everybody that has ever faced me. You know, I'm over here winning e almost every gunfight. And I'm over here destroying choppers. Look, look at this. Get out of that chopper, boy. Don't, don't try to do none of that. Let me put another clip into you, man. And then let me switch to my pistol and blow you up, man. Who does that? Two clips and then a pistol. And then, of course, this chopper dude over here has to be a complete jerk and just ruin my happiness. I'll get him, though, one day. One day I'll get him. But anyways, uh, let's let's go from a Call of Duty stance. Uh, I've, I was playing Call of Duty earlier this morning, and, um, you know, I haven't had internet for, like, about two weeks. But uh, to get this gameplay, I use my phone hotspot to uh, like play online because I've been waiting for this game for a long time. But when I played Advanced Warfare this morning, there was something really, really off about it. Like whatever they patched or like buffed or whatever, the guns are now like every gun is weak and like the game is like way, way too fast. Maybe it's just because I've been playing this game a lot, but I don't know. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, some things you just gotta keep adapting to, you know, Battlefield and Call of Duty are, uh, two really different paced games, and stuff like that. I'll get some more, uh, Call of Duty gameplay for you guys, I do want to get out my way, hit him back of the head with a baseball bat. But, uh, the video is coming closer to an end, so, uh, I'll leave you guys right about now, and see you guys later. Bye.